Okay, what we're going to study in this lesson is the security uh, triad, which is CIA. Uh, all security courses are built off the CIA triad, which stands for con con uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. If we think about confidentiality, I like to look at short terms so you can remember confidentiality means level of secret, secrecy. Now that secrecy could be in transit, it could be on a hard drive. So again, if we're talking about confidentiality, we're talking about level of secrecy, that's part of the triad. The next is integrity. Integrity, if I looked at one word, I would say is about modification. Because when you think about modification, you have to think people are authorized. Authorized users should not misuse data. If they misuse data, they could damage it. That would infect integrity. Uh, then we have people that are not authorized. Somebody that's not authorized should not even get to the data, so they should have no access. And another thing about integrity is internal and external consistency. What does that mean? Internal consistency and external consistency. Well, if we look at Enron, this is what happens. Enron internally lied to the external folks that had stock. Therefore, they lied, the company collapsed, you have a breach of integrity. Internal and external consistency. And then we have availability. Systems must be available. If they're not available, you cannot do business. So availability, this is the triad of functionality within the CISSP course. We implement this through controls. Controls being administrative controls, technical controls, which are also called logical controls, and physical controls. Now, as we come into the next chapter, we're actually going to get in detail this. What are administrative controls? What do they do? An example would be like security awareness training and policy so people know what should be done. Uh, if we think about technical controls, that's everything from setting up firewalls to encryption, so there are chapters that cover that. And then we look at physical security, which is the physical, probably the most layered. What do you mean most layered? Well, if I get over the fence, can I get over the wall? If I get all the wall, can I get through the door in the access control card? If I do that, can I get by the guy in the, the, the guard in the hall? If I get by him, can I get in the next door? And can I get in the safe? And so it's layered. Uh, and so we're going we're gonna to look a little bit at that later on this week also.